Hello, I'm Glenn Toby. I'm a Spring Far Shikong master and a psychotherapist. The topic of this five minute talk is on the theme of the art of coming home with a specific focus today on weather. Now weather is such an unusual thing to bring into what? The art of coming home, but bear with me just for a little bit. You know, weather is all about the conditions coming. It could be a daily thing. It could be a weekly thing. It could be a seasonal thing. So the weather impacts all of us in different ways. So right now, you know, where we live, uh, about 150 miles north of Minneapolis, you know, in Minnesota, you know, we've had our, our first really, you know, snowfall that's hit the ground. So, you know, the snow is coming down, you know, so this is the part of the country now we're getting ready for a whole long number of months to have this white stuff on the ground. So like we usually get about eight to nine feet of snow throughout this winter season. Now, for some of you, might, you might say eight or nine feet, that's nothing. Others of you might say one inch and everybody goes crazy. So what it is, whatever for you, the weather, how it comes, rain or snow or ice or storms or thunder or winds or hurricanes, you know, the weather really affects our, all of our lives. So how we turn ourselves over to the weather, though, becomes important. You know, so we want our weather experts to give us information so we can do some plan. You know, plan a picnic or plan an outing or plan to walk to work or any of those planning things, you know, the, what the weather is doing becomes important. So it's a focus a little bit. OK, experts. OK, weather experts, give us information where we have some certainty. So when I hear 100 percent chance of rain, I kind of know it's going to be wet. If I hear 20 percent chance of rain, I don't know whether this is going to happen or not. You know, so the idea is, is a weather forecast wrong or right or how much investment do we put in that weather forecast or the weather report? That's OK. You know, that's going to be the struggle for another thousand years, you know. But the important part in the coming home is how much are we giving away of our own connection to the environment? So are we just like reading a newspaper or tuning into the TV or the radio to find out some external information? So this that may not work for everyone, but tuning into the weather more and more as an inside thing, that it is a practice of your intuition, you know, sensing the clouds moving in, or sensing the wind coming from a westerly direction, or feeling the shift of the wind this way or that way, or feeling the moisture in the air, or feeling a little tinge of cool or cold or bitter, all that kind of being aware of this enormous energy. The pattern of a storm coming in or the pattern of a storm clearing so that you're not always relying on the weather forecast, the weather forecast. That's important. I'm not denying that. But some of you, one of the tools in the art of coming home is having this connection to your intuition, you know, to your consciousness. So, yes, the brain wants to know what's happening. That's great. Let me figure out what I need to do. But for some of you, one of the arts and tools of coming home is being more and more aware of that weather around you. You know, the connection to it, the feel of it, the energy of it, what this cloud looks like, what this wind looks like, where the, 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 the wind is blowing from, kind of being connected to the north and east and south. You know, so, so then you're more connected what, as you walk. It's not just walking through weather, so to speak. You're kind of walking with weather. And so when that intuition and the consciousness more and more fully develops about the winter, then your frustration, remember, frustration is what I'm not getting in my way. How come it's raining? How come it's doing this? Oh, no. When you have that intuition, that con consciousness, that connection to how weather works, I'm not going to be as frustrated. You know, I'm not going to be angry about not getting my way. Of course, when the wind was blowing from the southwest, I knew that rain felt like rain was coming. I understand it. So then one of the tools of coming home is really the, the intuition, the consciousness development to the environment around you and then becomes within you. Thank you for listening.